your browns, your burgundies, your blacks, your taupes, your blues. Ooh, those blues. Show me your soul. And honey, I'll show you. I'll show you mine. Welcome back to 86 Ambrosia. It's your girl Jen. That's with one J and two N's. And this is my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so very much for clicking on that thumbnail that brought you into this vlog video today. I am so super excited simply because I did a fall fashion haul from Fashion Nova and not one, not two, not three, but all of the pieces that I ordered from Fashion Nova fit just like I want them to fit. Guys, I cannot wait to show you these looks that I have put together from the Fashion Nova. Like we, we really about to jump into that thing. Mm -hmm. That's cute, that is really cute. All right, so this first look that you see me moving and grooving in are these Abigail high-waisted 70s style jeans. These jeans have made a complete comeback in this 2020 fall season. When I did a little bit of research, I found out that 70s jeans that flare out at the calf on down to the foot have really made a comeback for this 2020 fall season. So I am so super excited to have landed this very cute pair. They're super stretchy, super comfortable. As you can see, clearly I can move and groove in them. So I have these jeans paired with this brown Abigail turtleneck. It is so super comfortable. It is very stretchy, but I will say this turtleneck top is not very long. So if I was wearing this, I would only wear it with high-waisted jeans. I would not wear them with jeans that's like a mid-rise or a low cut, cause clearly the two won't, they're, they're not gonna line up and I have no time for the crap. I ain't got no time for the crap. That wouldn't work. Ooh, ooh, say it ain't so, say it ain't so, sis. Say it ain't so, sis. So for this look over here, I have on these Hayden flare leg jeans that I think are so super cute, guys. They fit so comfortably. The only thing I say is I wish I had a size down a little bit because I got a feeling that as I'm wearing them, they are going to get loose and I'm gonna to have to start pulling on them. If that is the case, then every time I wash them, I'm just gonna throw them right in the dryer. I won't even hang them up because I'm gonna to try to shrink them if that's even possible with these pants. And with these Hayden jeans, I have paired them with this taupe knit turtleneck that I think is just so super soft and so super comfortable. As you can see, the sleeves are long, so they cover my hands. And I just really like that look for whatever reason. Like when you can pull your turtleneck over your hands and kind of just rest your hand on your chin. I just think that's just such a vibe. You know, sit in a coffee shop like this. Okay, so for this look, I have paired some old with some new, but don't worry guys, everything that I have on with the exception of maybe the shoes, you can still pick up over at Fashion Nova. Very beautiful faux leather, fleece line leggings. They are so comfortable. They're easy to pull up. They're easy to pull down and take off. And also they form to your body. So when you're sitting or squatting or bending, you don't have to worry about them riding down. Like if you've ever worn leggings, guys, that when you get ready to like bend over or like pick up something off the floor, you got to stand up and hike them bad boys back up. These leggings do not do that. They fit so well. Now I have paired them with that tote from the previous clip. So now you see what I'm really saying about using those staple colors and these staple pieces to be able to mix and match things how you wanna, guys. How you wanna. Jen with one J and two N. That's cute. That is cute. Okay, so as you can see, I have on some Victoria pants that are high-waisted in the color royal blue. And I threw back on that brown top from earlier in this vlog to show you just how I can mix and match these pieces to come up with the whole 
vibe. Like every time I'm progressing from look to look, I'm like, dang, that is so super cute. It came out so super well. So, oh, this next look is very similar to the look that I had on previously, but this time I put the tote on the bottom with these very beautiful Victoria pants, and I have on this very staple piece, which is this black turtleneck that's made of this soft knit material, same as the taupe turtleneck. It stretches, it has the long sleeves, it's super comfortable, very casual. I can dress it up, dress it down, and either way, your girl is on game with this look. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, it's so super cute. Yes, now this is a cute look. So for the last look, guys, as you can see, I have on some animal print pants. And the prints of fall for me have always been animal prints. So that's your leopard or your cheetah. And then you have your camel. Of course, you gotta have camel. And then also your buffalo plaid. Those three prints are my absolute favorite for the fall season. Now, let me tell you a little secret of mine. I love to mix prints. I guarantee you that when I actually do wear these pants, I'm probably going to tie a red buffalo plaid shirt around my waist, do it with this black turtleneck, and throw on a jean jacket with some combat boots. Oh my gosh, that is going to be a whole vibe. The reason why I don't have that combination on in this look, I have a buffalo plaid red button up shirt that I can tie around my waist. Now, if you know somewhere I can get that from, please drop that down in the comment box, please. I greatly appreciate it. The beauty, guys, of all of these looks is that you can pair them so many different ways to come up with the color combination and style that you're after. Changing your hair or the accessories that you wear, such as your bag or your jewelry, can really bring the outfit out and make it more dressy, or it can change the look altogether and dress it down just a hair. But either way, all the flexibility that you have built into this fall lookbook with the colors and the staple pieces is all there so that when it's time for you to get dressed, you have zero to worry about. All right, so I hope that you've enjoyed the fashions that I've put together in this little fall lookbook with these staple pieces and staple colors. If you have, please make sure you smash the like button. Also drop a comment down below and let me know which outfit or which color combination I put together you liked the most. Also guys, if you like this kind of content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot I've already posted and more content that is on the way. And I would love it if you were a part of the 86 Ambrosia family. So until the next vlog video, guys, I will see you soon.